Praise you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Let us look at the blessed sacrament. The Lord is here right now. My dear brothers and sisters, you are most welcome to this evening session. This live streaming from Divine Retreat Center UK. All those who are participating in this live streaming, be blessed and consecrated on this day. The Lord has given us one more day to worship Him and glorify Him and receive the blessings from different being being in the different parts of the world to receive the blesses blessings from the blessed sacrament which is exposed here in Ramsgate in UK the lord doesn't want to leave you orphaned and leave you disappointed but he's going to specially bless every one of you let's all bow down in front of our lord jesus and worship him o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine my dear brothers and sisters as we start this today's session let us take our holy rosary in our hand let us worship together and let's glorify the lord along with mother mary joining in a with a hand with joining her on joining with her let us recite the holy rosary and pray for the whole world i believe in god the, the father, father almighty creator of heaven and earth and i believe in jesus christ his only son our lord was conceived by the power of the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into the hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he shall come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us do not let us fall into temptation but deliver us from all evil amen for faith hope and charity hail mary full of grace The Lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be the world without end amen The first glorious mystery the resurrection of our Lord Jesus let us contemplate in this mystery how our Lord Jesus Christ triumphing over death rose again on the third day glorious and immortal my dear brothers and sisters today being the first saturday of the month we have a special devotion to our lady as it was requested by mother mary in fatima when she appeared in fatima she has asked the whole world to have first saturday devotions and we do have here in rivan riti center every first saturday convention and healing service and today being the first saturday of the month let us offer the divine ministry to the immaculate heart of mary completely consecrate the whole ministry and every moment of this moment of this adoration and worship and holy mass and live streaming bible study bambi no program under my roof program and all the other online services to the immaculate heart of mary and pray so that her protection her presence her intercession be always be there with the divine ministry for this intention let us pray together 
are lifting up our hands towards our Lord Jesus along with Mother Mary. Let us recite this decade of the Holy Rosary. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst all women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in his now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst all women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in his now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst all women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in his now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst all women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in his now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst all women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst all women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst all women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst all women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst all women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst all women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without an amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fear of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, Saint Joseph, Saint Vincent de Paul, Saint Augustine of England, let us all stretch out your hand towards the Blessed Sacrament. Jesus said, wherever two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there. We are gathered together, not two or three, but thousands around the world, as one family across the planet. Let us pray, worshipping together from around the world, from wherever we are, let us worship him, give him all glory and worship. He is here now. He is here in front of you right now. He is there in your living room. Wherever you are, wherever you are, wherever you are seated, the presence of God is covering you. The anointing of the Lord is covering your whole body now. You can feel the presence in your body, every moment of it. You can feel the anointing in your body. The power of God is taking control of your body now. Receive the power, receive the anointing, receive the glory. He will never leave you orphaned. He is coming to you. Let us worship Him. Give all glory to Him. The Lord is blessing and healing everyone who is worshipping right now. When you worship, evil powers will be driven out from your bodies right now in Jesus' name. Let's all sing together. Glorify Him. Father, Abba Father, we thank you. We thank you for your presence now. 
we can feel you father we can feel you father we can feel your anointing we can feel your presence now we can feel your mighty powerful presence in our home in our house in our room in our body now we can feel it now receive Thank you Father thank you Jesus Holy holy is the Lord Almighty Along with all the angels and saints worship God at the top of your voice Thank you Father We know creation I sing praise the King of kings You are my everything Holy Lord make us holy Lord make each and every one of us holy every unholiness in us be washed now let your precious blood wash every unholiness from our body your holy Lord your holy and I'm with all the angels in heaven all the heavenly beings we worship you we sing together saying you are holy
Jesus. With all creation I sing, praise to the King of Kings. You are my everything, and I will adore you. Let's all keep our hands on our heart. My dear brothers and sisters, there is mighty presence of God in your home now. Wherever you are, the presence of God is overshadowing you. Somebody who is having pain on your face, the muscles of your face is affected and you can't even smile, laugh or smile. You are having pain on your muscles of your face. The Lord is healing you right now. Somebody who is disfigured, your face is disfigured because of paralysis. You are paralyzed one side of your body, especially the lips is also disfigured. The Lord is healing you right now. You have become normal now, right now. The Lord is blessing you. And somebody who is having pain in your stomach, disturbance in your stomach and problem in your stomach, you are instantly getting healed right now. The Lord wants you to testify it. Any social media where you are watching, testify it, write down, type it there and give your testimony right now because it's an instant healing the Lord has given you right now. The Lord is blessing so many of you as you have gone worshipping. Mighty deliverance is happening now in Jesus' name. Somebody who has got pain on your right hand, your ankles, every part of your right hand, there was pain and you were not able to carry anything heavy. Right now the Lord is healing you. The Lord is setting you free now in Jesus name. Aji, the Lord is blessing you right now. Rufina, the Lord is blessing you right now. The power of God is coming to everybody. He will never leave you orphaned. He will never disappoint you. The Lord is touching somebody who has got problem in your eyesight. The Lord is healing you right now. Believe in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us contemplate in this mystery how our Lord Jesus Christ, 40 days after his resurrection, ascended into heaven in the presence of his most holy mother and apostles and disciples. In this mystery, let us pray in a special way for all the online services taking place around the world, all the ministries of the Word of God, especially all the Catholic ministries where the Word of God is preached and the Holy Mass is celebrated and all the, all the services that is done through online services. We pray for all of them and everyone who is working hard behind it, let everyone be influenced, inspired by the power of the Holy Spirit to give their best for God. Let's also pray for all the TV channels, Catholic TV channels, the word, the word of God is preached powerfully, Holy Mass is celebrated, and we pray for all of them. Let's so that, let all the social media and all the uh, media can be used for the glory of God, for evangelization. Let's pray for this intention. Let's all stretch out your hand towards the Blessed Sacrament and recite the second decade of the Holy Rosary. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in his now, now and draw for that. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us in his. Now, now and draw for that. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us in his. Now, now and draw for death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in his. 
now and the draw for that. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother of God, God pray for us in this. Now, now and the draw of for that. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother of God, God pray for us in this. Now, now and the draw of for that. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray for us in this. Now, now and the draw of for that. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray for us in this. Now, now and the draw of for that. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray for us in this. Now, now and the draw of for that. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray for us in this. Now and the draw of for that. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was, the beginning is now, and ever shall be, world without an Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, Saint Vincent de Paul, Saint Augustine of England. The third luminous mystery, we the descent of the Holy Spirit. Let us contemplate in this mystery how our Lord Jesus Christ, being seated at the right hand of God the Father, right hand of God the Father, and sent as he had promised the Holy Spirit upon his apostles who after the ascension returned to Jerusalem and continued in prayer and supplication with the Blessed Virgin Mary, expecting the fulfillment of his promise. In this mystery, let us pray for all those who are going through loneliness, especially those who are in these moments of crisis. There are so many people who are in going through depression. There are so many people who have lost their beloved ones, their husband or wife or parents or somebody has uh, died in, during this COVID-19 situation. There are so many people who are isolated, quarantined, and there are so many people who could not go out of their homes, so therefore slowly going into loneliness and depression. Let us pray for all of them, especially those who have lost their financial support, lost their valuable jobs. Let us pray for all of them so that they may all be protected. Let them all be covered by the grace of God. Let them all receive the Holy Spirit, the helper, the advocate whom Jesus and the Heavenly Father has sent for our help. Let us pray for this intention. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother of God, God pray, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother of God, God pray, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was, the beginning is now, and ever shall be, world without an Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, Saint Joseph, Saint Vincent de Paul, Saint Augustine of England, let us all stretch out your hand towards Jesus. Right now, let us pray for the infilling of the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit come upon each and every one of you. The Holy Spirit is coming to you. Somebody who is getting having severe neck pain. The Lord is healing you. Somebody who is using neck belt, belt around your neck. Uh, uh, the Lord is healing you, asking you to remove the belt and see. The Lord is blessing so many people right now. Somebody had an accident. You fell down from the staircase. These days. And you had some injury. The Lord is healing you right now. The Lord is blessing a person who feels that you are a bad luck for everyone. Wherever you go, you have some problem. You think about, think about you as a bad luck for others and also for you. The Lord says, remove this unnecessary thought and trust in me. Is there anything impossible for me? Your blessing is me. I am your blessing. And you be a blessing for others. The Lord is blessing so many people right now. Somebody who is running a taxi. Uh, you are a taxi driver. You are going through a tough time now. Financially and many other areas. The Lord is blessing you in a special way. Because you are kneeling down and praying this holy rosary. The Lord is blessing you right now. Somebody who is kneeling down and crying with sheer tear, shedding tears and your whole body is shivering right now. It's a sign of the presence of the Holy Spirit taking control of your body. The Lord says, right now many people are going to experience the presence of the Holy Spirit in your body. Everybody close your eyes and pray. If possible, kindly kneel down and pray. The power of the Holy Spirit is going to overshadow you. You are going to experience the presence of the Holy Spirit. The power, the light is coming to you from the Blessed Sacrament. Wherever you are, the presence of the Holy Spirit is taking control of you right now. Let's sing together. Welcome the Holy Spirit right now. The Holy Spirit is coming to you right now. Receive the Holy Spirit. Singing together, giving all glory to the Holy Spirit. All worship and praises to the Holy Spirit. He is touching you. He is coming to you right now. Receive the power. Receive the glory. Receive the anointing. Receive the Holy Spirit. Receive the fire. Let your fire fall on me, O oh Spirit of God. Fall, fall on me, Spirit, fall on me. Let your fire fall on Abba. me, O oh Spirit of God. Send your Holy Spirit. Fall, fall on me, Spirit, fall on me. I pray your rain down, down, rain, down, rain. Everybody together. Oh Holy Spirit, come and fill the bodies. Everybody, every child, everyone, let them receive the Holy Spirit now. The fire of the Holy Spirit. Take control of everybody now. Every child, everyone who is thirsting and praying. Let everyone be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. Rain down. Fire, follow me, oh, oh Spirit, Spirit of God. 
receive the holy spirit now receive the holy spirit powerfully receive in your body now Abba, we thank you we thank you for the anointing we thank you for the power we thank you for the deliverance we thank you for the holy spirit rain down now rain down and take control take care take anointing give the anointing upon these people let, let everybody be receiving the holy spirit now in jesus name Thank you, Father. Thank you for the anointing. Thank you for the touch. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the power. Thank you for the fire. Thank you for the anointing that we can feel in the body now. Feel in the body right now. Every cell of the body be anointed. Every part of the body be anointed. Every cell of the part of the body be consecrated in the holy name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, thank you, Father. Thank you for the glory. Thank you for the anointing. Thank you for the power. Thank you for the fire. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Touch everybody right now. Touch every child of God. Everyone who is crying and shedding tears now. Let everyone be consecrated. Let everyone be washed in the precious blood of Jesus now. Rain down, rain on me. Rain down, rain down. Let your blood fall on me. Oh, Spirit of God. Fall, fall on me. Spirit, fall on me. Let your blood fall on me. Oh, Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Trinity God.
My dear brothers and sisters, there is mighty anointing now. Your whole body is anointed. You can feel the power. You can feel the power. You can feel the anointing now in your body now. Your whole house is filled with the power. The fire is consuming the whole body, the whole house now. The fire of the Holy Spirit. Ajay, the Lord is blessing. Ajay, the Lord is blessing you. Sally, the Lord is blessing you. Roshni, the Lord is blessing you. Alan, the Lord is strengthening you right now. Ignatius, the Lord is calling you by name. Jacinda, Lord is blessing you. Sachin, the Lord is blessing you right now. Somebody who has got spinal cord problem, the Lord is healing you. Somebody who has got breast cancer, you are so worried, the Lord is consoling you and healing you right now. Somebody who has got urinary infection, the Lord is healing you. Magdalena, the Lord is blessing you. Indra, the Lord is blessing you. Sam, the Lord is blessing you right now. Sandra, the Lord is blessing you. The Lord is walking among you right now, my dear brothers and sisters. Valentine, the Lord is touching your shoulder right now and strengthening you. Ullas, the Lord is blessing you right now. Walenka, the Lord is blessing you right now. Somebody who has got problem with your one leg, the weakness on your one leg, the Lord is healing you and strengthening you right now. Somebody who is paralyzed and lying down and watching and participating in this adoration, the Lord is asking you to get up in Jesus' name. The Lord is healing you right now. You are able to walk. You are able to get up. Daisy, the Lord is blessing you right now. Danish, the Lord is blessing you right now. Somebody who has got problem in your left, left hand shoulder pain, the Lord is healing you right now. Darius, the Lord has seen your hard work. He wants to bless you more. Kanda, work for the kingdom of God. The Lord is blessing in a special way. Kavida, the Lord is blessing you. Giving you a very good, anointed family life and protection for your family. Kinga, the Lord is blessing you. Somebody who is praying for gift of children, the Lord is blessing you with the gift of children. Majosh, the Lord is blessing you right now. Somebody you are very, very good friends some years ago, but now you are the biggest enemies with each other. The Lord is asking you to repent and reconcile. He wants to bless you more and more if you reconciled. Thank you, Jesus. 
thank you father my dear brothers and sisters let us recite the fourth mystery the assumption of blessed virgin mary let us contemplate in this mystery how the glorious virgin mary many years after the resurrection of her son passed out of this world to him and was taken bodily into heaven accompanied by the holy angels in this mystery let us pray in a special way for the for all the priests and nuns and religious and bishops cardinals and let us pray for our poor francis in a special way let them all be filled with the guided by the holy spirit let them all be anointed by the power of the holy spirit let them all be able to take the right decision in the right time especially in these moments of crisis where the catholic church is being attacked from all the corners especially the clergy is under attack let us pray for them let us also pray the slow creeping of secularism in the religious world let us pray so that let this secularism which is creeping inside the religious life of the christianity catholic church be removed in the holy name of jesus be destroyed in the name of jesus let us pray for this intention let us focus on the eucharist and stretch out your hand towards the blessed sacrament and recite this decade of the holy rosary our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in his now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us the nays now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us the nays now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus holy, holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now holy and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus holy, holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus holy, holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was, was the beginning is now and ever shall be world with all to name amen o, o my jesus forgive us our sins, sins save us from the fire of hell lead all souls to heaven especially those who are most in need of your mercy queen of the most holy rosary pray for us saint joseph pray for us saint vincent de paul pray for us saint augustine of england pray for us let's all stretch out your hand towards the blessed sacrament The Lord is reminding certain messages for some people. Somebody, the Lord is asking you to remember and repent about what you have done to a beggar, which was so bad and which was very painful for the Lord. The Lord is asking you to repent about what you did to a beggar who came to you. And the Lord is also blessing uh, somebody who lived for only for your child. 
everything you did and everything you done everything was for your child but now that child has become a sorrow for you the lord says don't worry you could do whatever you could do now you trust in me spend your time rest of your time for me i will bless your child somebody who is living alone no children with you and now you are in sorrow all the children none of them are with you you are staying alone the lord is blessing you in these moments of loneliness someone who was not able to sleep for long time anxiety problem and tension sometimes you will get un- uncontrollable sweating at home or uh, sweating at night and the lord is blessing you and giving you peaceful sleep from today somebody who is attached to gold ornaments and you are collecting so much and the lord is saying be detached to all these and be attached to me the lord says let's close our eyes thank the lord the fifth decade of the holy rosary the assumption of blessed virgin mary let us contemplate in this mystery how the glorious virgin many years after the resurrection of her son passed out of this world to him and was taken bodily the coronation of blessed virgin mary let us contemplate in this mystery how the glorious virgin mary was to the great jubilation and exaltation of the whole court of heaven crowned by her son with the brightest diadem of glory and how all the saints rejoice with her in heaven in this mystery let us pray for the spiritual growth and offer each and every one of us let us also pray for deliverance from all evil afflictions let us also pray for the especially for the deliverance retreat that we are going to have end of this month let us pray for that and let us also pray for all those who are doing fasting and praying for this preparation for this deliverance retreat everyone who is doing fasting in different ways whatever way possible for them with according to their capacity let us pray for them in a special way all those who are taking very serious preparation for the deliverance retreat that is going to take place end of this man- month let them all be protected let them all receive mighty blessings let us also pray for all those who are struggling with temptations to be able to overcome and all the let us pray for the holiness of our body mind and soul and relationships for the gift of forgiveness let us pray for for all these intentions let us recite this uh, the fifth decade of the holy rosary our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give, give us this day our daily bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us do not let us fall into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen O oh my Jesus forgive us our sins save us from the fire of hell lead all souls to heaven especially those who are most in need of your mercy queen of the most holy rosary pray for us saint joseph pray for us saint vincent de paul pray for us saint augustine of england pray for us my dear brothers and sisters as we these days we were collecting some word of god for different occasions today i would like to give you some word of god to be used whenever you go through loneliness whenever you feel you are so lonely there is nobody to love you support you whenever you go through depression these are the words of god to you that you need to repeat therefore please write down this word of god which you are going to listen repeat it every day you will see the miracles happening in your life you know all the miracles that are happening through the live streaming is because we use lot of word of god and you repeat lots of word of god you listen to word of god right now the lord is healing somebody who has got severe eye problem pain around your eyes and also headache the lord is healing you right now in jesus name and my dear brothers and sisters somebody who is having round shape skin allergy in your body part different places the lord he is healing you right now especially in our joints of your hands armpit and other places you are having a round kind of skin allergy the lord is healing you right now it is just disappeared now in jesus name the lord is blessing you mightily someone who has got pain on your uh, fingers uh, your toes and especially on the joints of your toes the lord is healing there is swelling and redishness and you can't even wear the uh, shoes the lord is healing you right now as you are worshiping god let us read this word of god psalm 42 verse 1 and 2 psalm 42 verse 1 and 2 psalm 42 verse 1 and 2 everybody read louder and then we will sing the same song and uh, we will let's repeat as a deer longs for flowing streams as a deer longs for flowing streams so my soul longs for you so my soul longs for you oh god oh god my soul thirst for god my soul thirst for god for the living god for the living god when shall i come when shall i come and behold the face of god and behold the face of god any time when you go through loneliness depression repeat this word of god we are going to sing together right now and then we will continue the word of god continue word of uh, uh, they all sing together uh, you know open your hands in front of god thirsting believe every loneliness that is going through you are going through you feel your father doesn't understand your mother doesn't understand you your husband doesn't understand you wife doesn't understand children doesn't understand don't worry the lord understands you are thirsting for the lord you are thirsting for the support you are thirsting for an embrace from our lord he will never leave you orphaned he will never abandon you let's sing together Thank you Father thank you Jesus You are the my heart's desire that I long to you sing together
not so thirst in your heart let's sing together God is blessing you right now someone who is affected by covid-19 in a very very serious situation the lord is blessing you and healing you right now somebody who is having extreme hair fall you are so worried the lord is blessing you and healing you and there is a lady who is also going through this crisis the lord is healing you in a special way the lord is blessing you thank him from our heart let us repeat hebrew chapter 13 verse 5 to 6 hebrew chapter 13 verse 5 to 6 repeat this word of god hebrew chapter 5 verse that chapter 13 verse 5 to 6 keep your lives free from the love of money keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have and be content with what you have because he has said because he has said i will never leave you i will never leave you or forsake you or forsake you so we can say with confidence so we can say with confidence the lord is my helper the lord is my helper i will not be afraid i will not be afraid what can anyone do to me what can anyone do to me let's repeat jeremiah 31 verse 3 jeremiah 31 verse 3 
we read this word of god the lord appeared to him from far away the lord appeared to him from far away i have loved you with an everlasting love i have loved you with an everlasting love therefore therefore i have continued my faithfulness to you i have continued my faithfulness to you was 20 verse 30 chapter 31 verse 20 we read like this repeat after me 31 verse 20 okay let us read psalm 63 verse 1 and 2 psalm 63 verse 1 and 2 everybody repeat psalm 63 verse 1 and 2 Oh God, oh God, you are my God. You are my God. I seek you. I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faints for you. My flesh faints for you. As in a dry and weary land. As in a dry and weary land. where there is no water where there is no water so i have looked upon you so i have looked upon in you the in the sanctuary in the sanctuary beholding your power and glory beholding your power and your glory hallelujah 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 isaiah 59 58 was 9 isaiah 58 was 9 everybody repeat after me then you shall call then you shall call and the lord will answer and the lord will answer you shall cry for help you shall cry for help and he will say and he will say here i am here i am if you remove the yoke from among you if you remove the yoke from the among pointing you, of the finger the pointing of the finger the speaking of evil the speaking of evil psalm 143 verse 6 to 7 psalm 143 verse 6 to 7 I stretch out my hands to you I stretch out my hands to you My soul thirsts for you My soul thirsts for you like a parched land like a parched land answer me quickly o lord answer me quickly o lord my spirit fails my spirit fails do not hide your face from me do not hide your face from me or i shall be like those who go down to the pit or i shall be like those who go down to the pit Isaiah 54 was 6 to 8 Isaiah 54 was 6 to 8 For the Lord has called you For the Lord has called you like a wife forsaken like a wife forsaken and grieved in spirit and grieved in spirit like the wife of a man's youth like the wife of a man's youth when she is cast off when she is cast off says your God says your God for a brief moment for a brief moment I abandoned you I abandoned you but with a great compassion but with a great compassion I will gather you I will gather you in overflowing wrath for a moment in overflowing wrath for a moment i hid my face from you i hid my face from you but with everlasting love but with everlasting love i will have compassion on you i will have compassion on you says the lord says the lord you are a redeemer you are a redeemer my dear brothers and sisters take down this word of god these are the words of god that you need to use any time when you go through loneliness and depression and repeat these words of god any time when you are facing such kinds of problems then you will see the deliverance protection anointing love of god the peace of god coming and taking control of your heart therefore please take down these words of god is of very help of you uh, it will be a very great help for you therefore please make sure to repeat this word of god let us read isaiah 54 verse 6 and 6 to 8 isaiah 54 uh sorry so psalm 56 was 8 psalm 56 was 8 let us read this word of god psalm 56 was for 8 was 8 you have kept count of my tossings you have kept count of my tossings put my tears in your bottle put my tears in your bottle are they not in your record are they not in your record You have kept count of my tossings. You have kept count of my tossings. Put my tears in your bottle. Put my tears in your bottle. Are they not in your record? Are they not in your record? Hallelujah. 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 The Lord is healing somebody who has got problem just below your left leg knee. Just below your knee, 
especially in left leg there was pain or some cut or something the lord is healing you completely right now as you are repeating this word of god let us read psalm 34 verse 6 psalm 34 verse 6 can you repeat this word of god psalm 34 verse 6 this poor soul cried this poor soul cried and was heard by the lord and was heard by the lord and was saved from every trouble and was saved from every trouble this poor soul cried this poor soul cried and was heard by the lord and was heard by the lord and was saved from every trouble and was saved from every trouble psalm 34 18 19 18 and 19 let us repeat after Everybody repeat after this word. The Lord is near to the broken hearted. 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 And saves the crushed in spirit. And saves the crushed in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord rescues them from the mole. The Lord rescues them from the mole. But the Lord rescues them from the mole. But the Lord rescues them from the mole. Psalm 22 was 1 Psalm 22 was 1 Everybody stretch out your hand towards the blessed sacrament and repeat My God my God my God my God why have you forsaken me why have you forsaken me why are you so far from helping me why are you so far from helping me from the words of my groaning from the words of my groaning hallelujah hallelujah jeremiah 23 verse 23 and 24 repeat after jeremiah 23 verse 23 and 24 let's all repeat this word of god Am I a God nearby? Am I a God nearby? Says the Lord. Says the Lord. And not a God far off. And not a God far off. Who can hide in secret places? Who can hide in secret places? So that I cannot see them. So that I cannot see them. Says the Lord. Says the Lord. Do I not fill heaven? Do I not fill heaven? And earth. And earth. Says the Lord. Says the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lamentation chapter 3 was 31 to 33. Lamentation chapter 33 verse 31 For the Lord will not reject forever For the Lord will not reject forever Although he causes grief Although he causes grief He will have compassion He will have compassion According to the abundance of According to the abundance of His steadfast love His steadfast love For he does not willingly afflict or grieve anyone For he does not willingly afflict or grieve anyone Hallelujah 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 Let us all stretch out your hand towards the blessed sacrament right now Let us worship God These are the moments The Lord you were repeating the word of God now mighty deliverances have already taken place in your body, in your family, in your family members. Therefore, now the power of the blessed sacrament is coming to you. Let us worship God with all our heart and with all our mind. sing together
all the angels and saints are singing with you all the saints are along singing with you all the heavenly choir is with you right now heavenly beings are with you right now along with all the heavenly beings let's sing together abba you are the king of kings you are the lord of lords you are the mighty god you are holy you are holy you are holiest of holies deliverer your king of kings lord of lords you are the mighty anointed one mighty god you deliver everybody you set everybody free now we thank you abba all glory to you father all glory thank you father
Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, close your stretch out your hand towards the blessed sacrament. Open your heart in front of Jesus and share with Jesus every intention that you have. Right now I'm going to read out some of the testimonies of the people, the testimonies that are sent to us. And as I'm going to read out the testimonies, you can share with Jesus every intention that you have in your mind before we receive the final blessing of the blessed sacrament. This is Mrs. Taylor. My house was on sale and when I was watching the retreat, it was announced within two weeks house will go and now on 5th July I sold my house. Praise the Lord. There is another testimony. My name is Karen and Ains and it was almost three years I was having a lump on my underarms and now it's completely healed and there is no lump. I'm healed during the adoration. The Lord has blessed me. I am Clara D'Souza from Goa. My husband, Mr. Martin, had left side, has had left side ear pain on 26th July and 27th July for two days and fluid was oozing out from this left ear with swelling during the adoration. It was said a person who is having ear pain and fluid oozing out is getting healed. I claimed it for my husband and the next morning early in the morning my husband phoned me and told me he is completely healed. Everything is stopped and healed completely. I am Laura Kutino from Sharja. I would like to give my testimony. Since past four years I had been suffering from Varicosis vein pain on my left leg, back side of the knee. I could neither sit down or stand and kneel down for a long time. During the adoration, I was healed completely. There is a testimony from Michelle Castellino. I would like to testify that I wrote on 13th July for a good job for myself in Canada. And I was blessed with a job on 15th July. God has blessed me. There is another testimony from Thekla, Korea from Mumbai. In the first week of July, I was feeling extremely exhausted. My blood pressure was going low and I was feeling fearful. That was the first time I saw the online retreat of Divine UK. Though I was not watching it live, after three days, fear and exhaustion left me completely. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a testimony from myself, Victorino Evelino D'Souza from Mumbai. I had attended an online prayer service on 28th of July. During the healing service, I had prayed for the cure of fatty liver of mine. After the holy adoration, it was announced that someone among us was cured of fatty liver. In Jesus' name, I proclaim that he has healed me of this sickness of the fatty liver and I could testify that I'm healed completely. There is a testimony from Helen, Texas. My husband and I have been trying to have another baby but no, but to no avail. avail. I have been having non-stop bleeding for uh, almost six months so the situation made me frustrated. On Wednesday, July 9th, it was announced that there is a lady that is being bleeding seriously. God is healing you. I knew he was talking about me. And I quickly claimed it with faith because I have been having irregular menstruation and bleeding issue. Immediately I felt some sharp pain in my stomach and I was delivered and healed completely of this bleeding. Two weeks ago as I was listening to the daily, another testimony, the two weeks ago I was listening to the test, uh, daily online prayer services, 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Kenyan time. It was said that there is someone having a long journey plans. The Lord is making way so for that person. And I claimed it for myself. On 24th July, I safely traveled to a 20-hour journey. A family friend uh, catered for my journey expenses to visit my sick mother. Also in the month of June, my name was mentioned that the Lord is blessing Leah. I thank God for his blessings and mercy upon me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Marina Fernandez. 
27th June during the adoration it was announced a person lying down and praying because of a back pain but now Jesus touched her and she is healed immediately I claimed for myself and the Lord has healed me completely there is a testimony from Wilma Rodriguez I am emailing to testify that my brother's healing he has been suffering from gout and uric acid problem for quite some time now for past 2-3 days he has been affected badly by it due to which he could not walk properly he was in pain due to swelling in the toe during the adoration yesterday during uh, adoration healing you pray uh, that was prayed that somebody with a gout acidic problem is getting healed at that time i claimed for my brother clayton who lives in bangalore today when i called home he said that the that very moment that you prayed around 11 pm in bangalore time all his toes swelled up with unbearable pain it then subsided suddenly and there was no pain at all today evening even went cycling without any problem he is healed completely the lord has healed him completely praise the lord praise the lord there is another testimony my husband was suffering of glaucoma for 35 years he visited five countries for treatment nothing worked his last last operation was in march in london and due to virus he couldn't visit the doctor to check if the operation was successful after four months he was called for checkup still his eye pressure was high was very disappointed and kept praying for the first time i sent a petition to divine and asked father asked to fa- ask fathers to pray he had appointment after two weeks that was on 29th july his pressure became normal doctor was confused and checked it twice and still it was normal after 35 years he is become normal now his glaucoma has he been healed completely the lord has blessed him there is another testimony it was announced on 30th july that someone is being healed of right heel pain it was me as i claimed the healing and today no pain at all i have been having this pain for about a year and really stopped praying for myself among other health issues i have i'm sure i'm healed of all my illnesses praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah 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 i would like to another testimony from jamuna christi i would like to share the with god's miracle i as i have been watching the live streaming for the last 3 months and praying for my sister janagi and her child of 3 years old she is a single mother trying to settle in germany with her parents she applied for working visa in germany but was denied two times due to many reasons i kept praying for them finally they got visa for 6 months we knew that my sister got this visa through the miracle of our lord jesus after prayer praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah this is wilma dukutino since past 5 years i had been suffering from joint pain and numbness of my hand at night while sleeping i could not lift my hands now i am completely healed of joint pain of my elbow by the way sleeping time we cannot lift my hands so maybe it was a mistake in writing so uh, now i am ke- completely healed of joint pain of my elbow knee and shoulder and even fingers and from one month my feet were paining very badly i could not stand even for 10 minutes now my feet have healed completely praise the lord praise the lord uh, hallelujah hallelujah now my dear brothers and sisters kindly kneel down in front of the blessed sacrament the lord is going to bless you before that my dear brothers and sisters uh, let me thank you for all of you for praying for the divinity center every day yesterday you completed the homework i hope so and uh, so we have one more homework for tomorrow so please repeat uh, the word of god uh, repeat my dear brothers and sisters uh, psalm chapter 6 was was 8 and 9 psalm 6 was 8 and 9 depart from me all you workers of evil for the lord has heard the sound of my weeping the lord has heard my supplication the lord has healed me blessed me so this repeat this word of god uh, psalm uh, 6 8 and 9 uh nine times along with nine memorare before you come and join at 6 o'clock evening uk time please repeat it nine nine times 
and pray for the intention of the divinity center so when you pray for the divinity center you will be blessed because you are also part of this divine ministry and divine family and you will get a share of all these thousands of people who are praying so please do pray for the divinity center that is the biggest strength and power for the divinity center so when all these thousands of people pray for the divine and remember divine in your personal prayer and public prayer community prayer common prayer this is the biggest blessing and strength of this divine ministry so please protect uh, divine ministry through your intercession and prayer praise the lord praise the lord uh, hallelujah. hallelujah thank you jesus, thank you, jesus. Praise, you, jesus. praise you jesus thank you father, thank you, father. praise you father, praise you, father. Uh, hallelujah. hallelujah so i would like to request you once again remember the uh, the deliverance retreat that is prepared for you end of this month online the last friday saturday sunday of this month and please do do fasting different types of fasting so you can do whatever fa- kind of fasting that you want and do fasting and let us know how many days of fasting you have completed or willing to complete even future maybe in the coming months if you want to do fasting for this intention you can beforehand you can plan and let us know the number of fasting that you are going to do and maybe you just type it in the comment box wherever maybe facebook or whatsapp uh, or maybe in the youtube comment box so that we will count it and we will complete 100000 fasting days and whatever in whatever way possible so please do type the number of fasting days that you could do praise the lord, praise the lord. Hallelujah. hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus so those of you who would like to get the newsletter from the divinity center the newsletter that is nothing but the transcribed forms of the preaching in written format it will be available in your email so there is a link and the barcode is given there so you can scan or you can type and uh, send out your details and then you will get it some people maybe are were complaining saying they did not get it just check your uh, email uh, type divine newsletter in the search column then you will get it maybe it has must have gone to uh, different folders of your email maybe spam or maybe uh, to updates or some other places you it may have gone by mistake so you just check and you may, it may be there in your email list so in case if anybody did not get it please check and then you will see it praise the lord praise the uh, lord. Hallelujah. hallelujah thank you jesus, thank you, jesus. Praise, you, jesus. praise you jesus and now my dear brothers and sisters let's all kneel down in front of the blessed sacrament and receive the blessing of our lord let's stretch out a hand towards the blessed sacrament as you receive the blessing Thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, 
All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. So my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. A very good evening, and welcome to this Eucharistic celebration. My dear brothers and sisters, we are so lucky people because we are able to celebrate the Holy Eucharist every day. It's really a blessing that we receive from the Lord. It's really a blessing that the Lord is with us. Emmanuel. My dear brothers and sisters, let us be grateful to the Lord for this great mystery of Eucharist. We are so happy and we are so proud that there is a God who is traveling with his people. There is a God who is always with his, with his people and we are his people. Let us be grateful to the Lord. Today in a special way, we commemorate the feast of St. Alphonse Ligori. Alphonse Ligori was the founder of Redemptorist Congregation and he established the Redemptorist Congregation to work in the poor villages, especially in the villages of Italy. And he is also the patron saint of all the moral theologians. So in a special way, we seek the intercession of Saint Alphonse Ligori today through his intercession. May the good Lord may bless all of us. Let us acknowledge all our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned 
in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask bless mary a virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on all of us forgive all our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen, amen. Lord have mercy on us all Lord have mercy Lord have mercy on us all Lord have mercy have mercy on us all constantly rise up in your church new examples of virtue grant that we may follow so closely in the footsteps of bishop saint alphonsus in his zeal for souls as to attain the same rewards that are his in heaven through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever Amen. a reading 
from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. The reason why those who are in Christ Jesus are not condemned is that the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death. God has done what the law, because of our unspiritual nature, was unable to do. God dealt with sin by sending his own son in a body as physical as any sinful body. And in that body, God condemned sin. He did this in order that the law's just demands might be satisfied in us, who behave not as our unspiritual nature, but as the Spirit dictates. The Word of the Lord. Thank you. 
From the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth, but if salt becomes tasteless, what can make it salty again? It is good for nothing, and can only be thrown out to be trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hilltop cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp to put it under a tub. They put it on the lampstand where it shines for everyone in the house. In the same way, your light must shine in the sight of men, so that seeing your good works, they may give, they may give the praise to your Father in heaven. Do not imagine that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish but to complete them. I tell you solemnly, till heaven and earth disappear, no one, <coughs> not one dot, not one little stroke shall disappear from the law until its purpose is achieved. Therefore, the man who infringes even one of the least of these commandments and teach others to do the same will be considered the least in the kingdom of heaven. But the man who keeps them and teaches them will be considered great in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, my dear brothers and sisters, in today's first reading, the letter of Saint Paul to the Romans, Jesus tells what is his attitude towards the sinners. It, it is written, the reason why those who are in Christ Jesus are not condemned is that the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death. God has done what the law, because of our unspiritual nature. God dealt with the sin by sending his own son in a body as physical as any sinful body. And in that body, God condemned sin. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ, the only Son of the Father, He came to this world by receiving human body. By receiving human body, Jesus is telling or Jesus is giving us the message that we are all called to holiness. We are all called to live with Jesus Christ. That is why St. Paul in his letter says, You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. So my dear brothers and sisters, wherever you are, you are so important and precious for the Lord. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And in you and me, my dear brothers and sisters, the Lord resides. So we are walking tabernacles human body it is so important because god resides in our body my dear brothers and sisters though we do a lot of sins even when we are in the midst of sin the lord is telling us that the lord will protect us the lord will protect us because 
God has sanctified all of us through the person of Jesus Christ. So my dear brothers and sisters, all those who are attending this service, all my brothers and sisters who are so dear to me, my dear brothers and sisters, though I am not seeing you physically, we are all brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. And you are part of my life, my prayer. You are part of my Eucharistic celebration. And I'm sure you are also praying for me. So my dear brothers and sisters, the good message that I have to tell you is God loves each one of us. God loves each one of us. We are all so precious. Each individual is so precious for God. My dear brothers and sisters, when I am preaching from here, I am celebrating this Mass, I am preaching towards a community. I know there are a lot of people attending this service. But my dear brothers and sisters, God loves each one of you, which means God's love towards you is not, not in the form of a community love. God loves each one individually. Even though we are sinners, though we are in the midst of difficulties, though we deny the Lord very often, the Lord loves each one of us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Worship you, Jesus. Worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 My dear brothers and sisters, in the Gospel of John, chapter 8, verse 1 to 11. The Gospel of John, chapter 8, verse 1 to 11. We see the picture of the adulterous woman, the woman who is caught in adultery. Though so many people, they brought her before Jesus. They brought her before Jesus and they told him that she is a sinner. Lord, she is a sinner. She has to be condemned because she violated the rules and regulations. And you know, among the Jews, it is very important that they have to observe all the rules and regulations. If anyone violates the rule, they have punishment for each and every violation. The scribes and Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery and making her stand before all of them. My dear brothers and sisters, you must understand what, is the, what was the answer of Jesus. Jesus told them, In chapter 8, verse 7. Chapter 8, verse... When they kept on questioning him, he straightened up and said to them, Let anyone among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. She was, he was protecting the woman. Though the people were angry, so that, though they were, they, they were asking Jesus to punish her, the attitude of Jesus was something different. He told them that if any one of you, let any one among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. Because Jesus knew the, the people who are around him, they were focusing on the law. But our Lord Jesus Christ, who was not focusing on the law, he was focusing on person, individual. He was focusing on the concept of love. Because Jesus knows that each and every, every man and woman in this world, they are so important for him. Each and every woman who is created in this world, they are created in the image and likeness of our God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So my dear brothers and sisters, for Jesus, each individual is important. The Lord will protect each individual even in the midst of difficulties. So my dear brothers and sisters, if any one of you are crying, maybe you are crying from one corner of this world, but remember that the Lord sees your tears. The Lord sees your tears. The Lord wants to save you. The Lord wants to touch you. 
my dear brothers and sisters that is why each and every sinner he is important for jesus sometimes we may ignore the love of christ sometimes we may ignore the love of christ but christ never ignore any individual any person today the question before us is that are we following christ in our day to day life am i considering people around me am i consider people around me am i making judgments against people who are living with me or am i loving people unconditionally my dear brothers and sisters when we are celebrating this holy eucharist when we are praying together remember that each and every individual who is living with me they are so important for the lord the lord protects them the lord protects them the lord stands for them so we have no right to work against someone who is with us even though sometimes because of even though they are speaking against us even though they do something against us we have no right to do anything against them because we are christians we are christians and we are people of god and moreover we are people of jesus remember that my dear brothers and sisters everyone who is created in this world they are created in the image and likeness of god praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus again if we come to this woman this woman who is caught in adultery she was not a pious woman she was not a faithful she was not a she was not so pious we don't know whether she was praying at all the lord did not allow others to stone him stone her not because that she was a, she was not a pious she was a pious woman sometimes we think that people who are not praying people who are not attending this service people who are not reading bible the lord is against them not at all it is our duty through our prayers through our sacrifices bring everyone before the lord so my dear brothers and sisters jesus works not only for people who believe not only for people who pray not only for people who read the bible jesus is the god of everyone praise the lord 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 so my dear brothers and sisters even though we, even if we are sinners the lord loves us even if we are far away from the lord the lord protects us even if we are not loving him the love and friendship that jesus have towards us is unconditional praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord, praise the lord. so my dear brothers and sisters wherever we are going the lord is protecting us wherever we are it is not one one story in the bible it's not one incident in the bible <coughs> and when we read in the acts of the apostles chapter 12 in the acts of the apostles chapter 12 we read from verse 6 onwards we read the very night before herod was going to bring him out peter bound with two chains was sleeping between two soldiers while guards in front of the door were keeping watch over the prison suddenly an angel of the lord appeared and a light st- shone in the cell he tapped peter on his side and woke up woke him saying get up quickly and the chains fell off his wrist the angel said to him fasten your belt and put on your sandals he did so then he said to him wrap your cloak around you and follow me my dear brothers and sisters the people started persecuting the disciples then what happened in the in the in the acts of the in the book of in the letter in the book of the acts of the apostles chapter 12 the first part we read james killed and peter was in prison and peter was in prison and the disciples were still they were preaching the word of god 
because once they were anointed by the power of the holy spirit they did not have any fear they did not have any fear while peter was kept in prison the church prayed fervently to god for him praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord so my dear brothers and sisters even in the prison the lord is protecting his people peter was you remember you have to re really reflect on this word of god we see that the very night before herod was going to bring him bring him out peter bound with two chains was sleeping between two soldiers i want to focus on this thing this particular point what was peter doing he was in the prison he was bound by chains and people were guarding him but still my dear brothers and sisters a person who is in the prison guarded by soldiers still he was sleeping still he was sleeping it is something surprising for all of us because a person who is in a person who is in prison and who is in pain how can he sleep he was in deep sleep how can he sleep so my dear brothers and sisters this is the trust a person has in jesus this is the trust a person has in jesus remember when we trust the lord we will be able to overcome all the difficulties and problems the lord will protect us the lord will give us the strength we need not be worried about anything around us sometimes we are in the midst of sickness sometimes we have a lot of family problems sometimes you are crying now my dear brothers and sisters jesus is with you he is there call out his name and pray the lord will work miracles and wonders in his time praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord, praise the lord. thank you jesus thank you, jesus praise you jesus. praise you jesus so my dear brothers and sisters even though peter was in prison though he heard that the disciples were killed he was still courageous to preach the word of god he was sleeping in the prison because he had such a faith in the person of christ praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord so my dear brothers and sisters the lord will protect his people the lord will protect his people the lord will send his angels to liberate his people though we are in the midst of sickness though we are in the midst of difficulties and pain do not be afraid the lord will send his angels in the course of time do you believe do you believe yes i believe yes i believe yes i believe yes i believe my dear brothers and sisters for those who believe everything is possible for those who trust in the providence of god everything is possible for them so my dear friends trust in the providence the lord will protect each one of us the lord we see that the lord who protects the sinner the lord who protects peter who is in the prison and the lord who protects the people in desert you know that in in the history of israel they were traveling for so many years but they were well protected by jesus protected by god praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord so my dear brothers and sisters Jesus loves us he protects us only thing we have to do is give our life into the safe hands of Jesus give our life into the safe hands of Jesus and believe that he will do it a few weeks ago i heard a testimony in the testimony one of the priests who walked in the one of the north indian northeastern states of india he was a priest for many years and he still works in that one of the dioceses in the northeast he had a great difficulty of malaria he was affected with malaria virus in so many so many times and he till he was a zealous missionary he said because of my love for jesus i joined to work in the northeast he is from the south i started working but from the very beginning i was attacked by malaria 
so you i in a year i get 6 7 times so every time one month one and a half months i am on bed so i'm not able to do any service praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord and it went on almost 25 years more than 25 years he said i came and i started praying i prayed many times i celebrated mass for this intention in one of the retreats he was healed by the lord and he was completely freed it was announced that a priest who is from northeastern states now he is healed from malaria he said he claimed and believed he said he went back to his place after one year he was giving a testimony it is there in the youtube he was giving a testimony that i am completely healed for last one year i never had any problem praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord and he was he is he continues his ministry with more zeal and enthusiasm so my dear brothers and sisters for those people who believe in jesus everything is possible everything is possible nothing is impossible for people who believe praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord, praise the lord. thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus, praise you, jesus. worship you jesus. worship you jesus hallelujah 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 so my dear brothers and sisters in this eucharistic celebration let us pray to the lord lord give me the grace of faith give me the gift of faith and my dear brothers and sisters those people who are praying now those people who are attending this eucharistic celebration may i humbly request them believe in the lord believe in the lord the lord will do miracles for you the lord will do miracles for you praise the lord 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 the book of habakkuk the book of habakkuk chapter 1 verse 5 and 6 chapter 1 verse 6 Uh, verse 5 and 6 verse 5 and 6 it is written that the lord is here look at the nations and see be astonished be astounded for what is being done in your days that you would not believe if you were told praise the lord praise the lord look at the nations and see be astonished be astounded for a work is being done in your days that you would not believe if you were told my dear brothers and sisters for those who believe that the marvelous work that the lord is going to do we wouldn't believe praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord please do repeat after me look at the nations look at the nations and see and see be astonished be astonished be astounded be astounded for the for a work is being done for a work is being done in your days in your days that you would not believe that you would not believe if you were told if you were told my dear brothers and sisters the lord is going to do miracles and wonders in all your lives beyond your belief beyond your comprehension but only thing you have to do is give everything into the hands of the lord like a child like a child who is walking with his father who is walking with his mother is not bothered is not worried about anything what is happening because he believes that i hold a strong hand so my dear brothers and sisters let us hold the hand of jesus let us hold his hand and believe that he will do everything for us he will protect us in this eucharistic celebration those who are up, especially those who are attending this service i'm praying for all of you if you have any important reasons to pray important prayer intentions please offer before the lord along with this bread and wine along with this bread and wine offer all your prayers now close your eyes before the lord those people who are attending this service please close your eyes before the lord open your hands before the lord offer all your problems and difficulties and prayer intentions and lift before the lord now we are singing the offer to him while we are offering the bread and wine my dear brothers and sisters 
in your open hands you lift up all your difficulties pain and all the blessings that you have received let the bread that we are going to consecrate that symbolizes all the blessings that you have received and the wine we are going to consecrate that symbolizes the tears and pain of your life please to pray for everyone i also request you to pray for me so that i may preach the word of god with more enthusiasm and zeal so let us pray for each other my dear brothers and sisters we are one family in jesus christ praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord we may be in different parts of the world we may speak different languages we may eat different types of food we are different types of people we have different backgrounds but remember that we are all blood relatives we are all blood relatives because we eat the body and blood of jesus christ so we are all blood relatives so let us pray for each other let us put forward all our intentions lift your intentions before the lord the lord will bless it please kneel down open your hands and in your open hands your tears and your aspirations everything may be lifted before the lord amen my brothers and sisters my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice with your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of his holy church let us pray be pleased o lord to enkindle our hearts with the celestial fire of your spirit just as you granted that saint alphonsus 
should celebrate these mysteries and by them offer himself to you as a holy sacrifice we make this prayer through christ our lord the lord be with you Lift up your hearts We lift them up to the Lord Let us give thanks to the Lord our God It is right and just It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Father most holy through your beloved son Jesus Christ Your word through whom you made all things whom you sent as savior and redeemer incarnate by the holy spirit and born of the virgin fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people he stretched out his hands and endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection and so with the angels and all the saints we declare your glory As with one voice we acclaim indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness may holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and endured willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks He gave it to his disciples saying Take this all of you and drink from it for this is a chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Walk on your cross and resurrection. You've set us free. You've set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, John Wilson, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Let us sing together. <clears throat> through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence in the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Father, Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Yeah. 
behold the lamb of god behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter into my roof but you only say the word and my soul shall be healed let us keep our hands on our heart and say the spiritual communion prayer my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen
O God who gave us Saint Alphonsus to be a faithful steward and preacher of this great mystery grant that your faithful may receive it often and receiving it praise you without end we make this prayer through Christ our Lord the Lord be with you May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Let us pray for the priest all over the world as we sing, as we say the prayer for priest. O Jesus, Jesus, eternal priest, priest keep, keep your priest within the shelter of your heart, where none may harm them. Keep unstained their anointed hands, which daily hold your sacred body. Keep holy their lips, moistened with your precious blood. Keep holy and unearthly their hearts, sealed with the sublime mark of your glorious priesthood. Let your love surround and shield them from the contagion of this world. Their labors for the glory of God may be blessed with abundant fruits. And may the one whom they serve be the source of joy to them here on earth and in heaven their eternal crown. Let them be eager to be with you, to proclaim your good news and to fight against the evil one. Lord, give your church holy priests, religious and lay leaders. Jesus, Redeemer of the world. Keep pure your, your priests and those whom they serve. Holy Mary, Queen of Priests. Pray for your priests. Saint Alphonse. Pray for the religious. Saint Augustine of England. Pray for England. Holy Family. Keep our families pure and holy. Saint, Saint Michael, Michael the Archangel, Archangel defend, defend us in the day of battle. Be, be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May, May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. pray. And do thou, o Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world seeking the reign of souls. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world seeking the reign of souls. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of the battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to thou, o Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world seeking the reign of souls. Amen. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions and our necessities. But, but deliver us always from all dangers, O oh, glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. We fly to thy protection, O oh, Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O oh, glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. We fly to thy protection, O oh, Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O oh, glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Psalm 91. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, who say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the Father and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night or the arrow that flies by day or the pestilence that stalks in darkness or the destruction that wastes the noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked because you have made the Lord your refuge, the most high your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, no scourge come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you, to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, 
so that you will not dash your foot against the stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Those who love me I will deliver. I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me, I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. With long life, I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. We will have the adoration as we will kneel down and welcome Jesus in our midst. When he rose up to sleep, the angels put it down the wrist. There is thunder in its footsteps and lightning in its fist. Our God is an awesome God. Well, the Lord wasn't choking when he kicked them out of Eden. It wasn't for no reason that he shed his blood. His return is very soon, so you better be believing that our God, our God, our God is an awesome God. Our God, our God. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He When he rolls up his sleeves, the angels put in on the wrist. Our God is an awesome God. There is thunder in his footsteps and lightning in his feet. Our God is an awesome God. Well, the Lord wasn't choking when he kicked them out of freedom. He wasn't for the reason that he shed his blood. His return is very soon, so you better be believing that our God, our God, our God is an awesome God. Our God, our God, our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns. In the void of the night, our God is an awesome God. He spoke into the darkness and created the light. Our God is an awesome God. Judgment and wrath, He pulled out of Sodom. Mercy and grace, He gave at the cross. I hope that you have not too quickly forgotten that our God, our God, our God is an awesome God. Our God, our God, our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He Just putting on the wrist, our God is an awesome God. There is thunder in his footsteps and lightning in his feet. Our God is an awesome God. Well, the Lord wasn't choking when he kicked them out of feet. It wasn't for no reason that he shed his blood. His return is very soon, so he quit. What? Our God. Louder. Yeah, 
awesome God He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Look at Jesus as we sing now. Our Lord is an awesome God. Our Lord is an awesome God. He loves us. He protects us. He guides us. And He is with us like a friend. My dear brothers and sisters, wherever you are, we are united in prayer. We pray that the Lord may heal us. My dear brothers and sisters, now we are praying for all the sick people. Very especially this time, I am praying for all the sick people. Especially people who, af who are affected with COVID-19. People who met with accidents. Especially people who met with accidents today people who are undergoing operations, people who are facing death, people who are in serious health risk. We are praying for everyone. And my brothers and sisters, if any one of you, if any one of you are sick, raise your hands before the Lord and ask the Lord, Lord, heal me. Lord, heal me. Please to repeat after me, Abba Father. Abba Father. We thank you. We thank you. We adore you. We adore you. We worship you. We worship you. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. We adore you. We adore you. We praise you. We praise you. We worship you. We worship you. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. We praise you. We praise you. We worship you. We worship you. We adore you. We adore you. We thank you. We thank you for all the blessings. For all the blessings. We thank you. We thank you for healing us for healing us we thank you we thank you for protecting us for protecting us we thank you we thank you for blessing us for blessing us hallelujah 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 so my dear brothers and sisters lift your hands before the lord and pray for god's healing all those who are sick let them look at the lord heal me oh lord and I will be healed. Please repeat, heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. And I will be saved. Oh, heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. You are the Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. La 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 la
people who feel that they are healed by the touch of the lord let them raise their hands before the lord and thank the lord the lord has healed many people now people who are suffering from ulcers 16 of them are healed praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus or ship you jesus people who are suffering from back bone pain the lord is healing many people 21 people are healed now praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus, praise you, jesus. worship you jesus worship you jesus people who are worried about their health and operations and those six people who are worried about their operations the lord is telling them believe in the lord the lord will work miracles and wonders for you Praise the Lord Praise the Lord Praise the Lord Praise the Lord and so many others are healed lift your hands before the Lord and thank the Lord thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus Praise you Jesus Praise you Jesus Worship you Jesus Worship you Jesus Hallelujah 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 Praise the Lord Praise the Lord Hallelujah 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 My dear brothers and sisters may i humbly request you to pray for all the gospel ministries all over the world i request your prayers for divine ministries here in ramsgate and in different vincentian retreat centers we request your prayers for all the priests here father george joseph anthony and myself and all our team members darren appu SP Felix Marcia John Jeremiah may the good lord may heal and touch all of them we pray for everyone who are involved in the ministry of the word of god in different parts of the world we pray for all christian families and we also pray for all people who have not at heard of jesus christ lift all our prayers before the lord and ask for god's blessing o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine Praise the Lord Praise the Lord My dear brothers and sisters thank you for joining us for this evening adoration and eucharist celebration Let us be in touch with prayer May the Lord may protect us Have a blessed and good night God bless you.